Okay, sorry, had to cut that short. Don't want to get a copyright strike from Disney. So, a few months ago, I made a response video to Scott Mendelson, and I gave him a vicious verbal and intellectual beating, but Scott doesn't seem to be cognizant of that in the way he sees it. I did make him look like an uninformed ass clown, and it's time to do that again. So I hope you have your popcorn and your beverages on hand. Hearing him say that was absolutely baffling because I just thought he was stupid, but now I know he's retarded, and I don't know if I should really make this video anymore. I feel kind of bad picking on a mentally disabled person. Every power lifter has a belly that distends out because we push our bellies up to meet the bench press. And just because my belly's big does not make it unhealthy because one, it's not fat. It, does fat make this noise? I don't think so. You wouldn't know nothing about it because you don't have fat nor muscle. You know what I mean? You're like a twig. That's how it works. <laughs> My belly is all muscle, Scott Mendelson. This sounds a lot like the story sumo wrestlers give about how the special type of yoga they do makes their muscles look soft and flabby like fat. It's okay to like food, Scott. Just own up to it. All right, let's talk about salmon first. You, you, your data is, is corrupt. It's from polluted waters and outdated data. So where are your claims coming from? Nowhere. So in my last response to Scott Mendelson, I discussed how fish are not a good source of omega-3 fatty acids as fish are high in heavy metals and environmental pollutants that have negative effects on human health. And I referenced studies that are less than 10 years old. So what outdated data are you talking about? I also referenced research showing certain amino acids which are found in high concentrations in fish accelerate aging and promote cancer cell growth. And Scott's response to that is, I talk like a girl. Okay, Scott, maybe you aren't retarded. Here's another theory. You can't stand it when someone who is physically weaker than you is better than you at anything, which is why you were mad at all the girls in your class that got better grades than you, and this would also explain why you want another round of public embarrassment. Salmon has to happen to have really good source of omega-3s, vitamin A, B, and D, selenium, phosphorus, and many other things that help the body completely function in a way more optimal way. Listing all of the nutrients in a particular food doesn't prove your point. Just because fish has omega-3s and other nutrients doesn't make fish healthy, it just makes it food. And luckily for most of us, we have many food choices other than fish, and foods like nuts which contain omega-3s as well, along with other nutrients, happen to protect against chronic disease and extend life expectancy, whereas fish does not. Personally, I always suggest a farm, farm fresh raised salmon that's raised in optimal conditions, that's fed the best food and nutrients that you can get, that's gonna give you the better piece of, of protein. Okay, Scott, maybe you are actually retarded. Let's take an objective look comparing wild salmon to farmed salmon, because I know you sure as hell didn't do that. First of all, farmed salmon contains higher levels of environmental pollutants compared to wild caught salmon, and no, this isn't outdated data, these studies are just over 10 years old. Farmed salmon also have far more calories far more total fat, far more saturated fat, and more cholesterol than wild-caught salmon, so farmed salmon would promote weight gain and heart disease more than wild-caught salmon, and I think we just discovered the mystery of your belly, Scott. Farmed salmon also have a lower ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 fats compared to wild-caught salmon, and thank you for making it so easy to point out that you have absolutely no fucking idea of what you're talking about. This study also found that neither farmed or wild-caught salmon can be consumed at rates that provide one gram of EPA and DHA per day while maintaining acceptable levels of carcinogenic risk, although farmed salmon had a cumulative cancer risk 24 times above the acceptable level, but wild-caught salmon had only eight times above the acceptable level. You're still not going to admit you're wrong, are you? Like, what's your response to this? Did I sound like a girl when I presented this information to you? You know, you might be able to bench more than me, Scott, but you're my intellectual inferior, and I can see my penis when I look straight down at the floor. So basically before, when we were talking about fruit being bad for you, what I was mainly referring to was the fruit juice that's bad for you. Perfect example is Steve Jobs, who was a vegan and drank a ton of fruit juice and died at the age of 56 of pancreatic cancer. You're completely full of shit. When you made that video claiming fruit is bad for you, you were referring to whole sources of fruits like mangoes. You're actually hurting yourself by eating fruit, okay? 
okay? And I love fruit. There's nothing like a mango that's cut up and, I mean, oh my god, I love that. So now, after I proved you wrong, you're backpedaling on what you're saying. Fruit is healthy for you, Scott. Fuck you, just admit you were wrong, and using weak anecdotal claims doesn't help strengthen your argument. You brought up meat making you fat. Let's talk about the Atkins diet for a minute. This is a program that's been around since the 70s. It's a high protein, fat, low carbohydrate diet. Wow, retard alert. Multiple studies have shown meat intake is highly correlated with weight gain, along with diabetes, and we see these correlations even when controlled for caloric intake, and this is likely due to meat being more calorie dense and higher in fat than fruits and vegetables. Just because you can lose weight eating plenty of meat doesn't mean meat is a suitable weight loss food, it just means you're eating little enough to lose weight. People can lose lose weight eating Big Macs every day. That doesn't mean Big Macs are a suitable weight loss food, it just means you're calorie restricting. These low carb, high fat, high meat diets have also been shown to increase risk of death from heart disease, cancer, and all causes. So I wouldn't consider this a viable weight loss strategy, as most people want to lose weight to be fitter and healthier and live longer. The only way for your body to gain fat is for your pancreas to produce insulin which causes body fat storage. If you don't have that, you don't gain fat. And what does that cause from? Carbohydrates. Okay, this is demonstrably scientifically false. Protein is insulinogenic. Insulin is required to metabolize protein, and certain proteins like whey protein are as insulinogenic as pure sugar. Insulin is also not required to store fat. Fat will be stored in your body as adipose tissue without the use of insulin, and fat is so efficiently stored into adipose tissue that performing an adipose tissue biopsy can accurately determine one's dietary fat source. High fat diets can, however, induce hyperinsulinemia, a state in which your body produces continually high levels of insulin as fat inhibits insulin function and your body compensates by producing more insulin, and this has been directly linked to inducing obesity. And again, vegans have the lowest risk of type 2 diabetes, and even in populations that eat no processed foods, vegetarians still have a lower risk of type 2 diabetes than meat eaters. So what the fuck are you talking about? Fruits and vegetables are good for you, they don't cause diabetes, but meat does. Women are feminine and emotional, and vegan men are feminine and emotional. Most vegan women don't date vegan men. You know why? because they're looking for a real man. And I think that's it. No need to go on any further. You're retarded after I've proven you wrong over and over again. Your best defense is veganism is girly. Well, I'd rather be feminine than be dumb, have a big belly, not be able to see my penis when I look down, and have a good bench press. So I'm right, you're stupid, fuck you. What a relief. When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how.